Good evening. <laughs> I'd like to call to order the Board of Directors uh, regular meeting for, of Community Television of Santa Cruz County. Um, it's February 24th, 2020. And would our secretary kindly call the roll? Chair Major. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Mannheim. Here. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Lanier. Here. Director Spenson. Here. Director Gudger. Here. Full house. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I, I have to um, commend our executive director for how quickly she stifled her laugh when she heard the countdown. <laughs> that shows a, pro, a, a real professional. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> moving, moving along to item number two, uh, oral communications. Uh, do we have anybody, uh, member of the public, who'd like to address us? Seeing none and seeing no camera people raising their hands, we can move on to item number three. Uh, consideration of late additions, uh, additions or deletions. Do we have anything that we need to add or remove? All right. Seeing none, we can move right along to the consent agenda. Just items four, five, and six. Item four is to approve the minutes of our last board meeting from January 22nd. Um, item five is to approve the recommendation of the Finance Committee um, to accept the January financial reports. And uh, item six was um, to acknowledge uh, a generous um, series of contributions yearly from a uh, member of the public, Chris Leahy. Did uh, anybody want to ask any questions or comments on our consent agenda? I move to approve. All right. We have a motion to approve. And second. second. And we have a second. Uh, motion from uh, Vice Chair Ann, second from uh, Representative uh, O'Driscoll. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that carries unanimously. Um, great, so we can move right on to the regular agenda. Um, uh, our, our secretary, thankfully, is up on the, uh, the latest and greatest of uh, regulatory um, requirements. requirements. And so uh, this is one of those. We have to report publicly and verbally on regular agenda uh, uh, the executive director's salary that we um, formally approved. And that number is 100. $1,940. Uh, I don't think any further action is required, so we can move right on. Um, item number eight, um, which uh, unless anybody's been talking to uh, other board members or staff might be um, something that seems uh, quite interesting, uh, that is to form an ad hoc committee to explore potential additional locations. I believe we have a staff report. Mm. Yeah, we have kindly take it away. Okay, so control room, this is the this is the PowerPoint. Okay, I have it. Okay. Is it on NDI? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Huh? Oh, I advanced it accidentally. Way forward, somehow. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you're seeing all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're still good. Right. Right. I don't know. There we are. But I can't get to the front of it. That's not the beginning. Oh. Um, I'm going to escape. I've, I've never used Google before for this, and not that it isn't a great software, I just am unfamiliar. So um, um, now it's not doing, <laughs> just a minute, I'm almost there. All right, I think. Isn't that the button that makes things go? All right. So CTV South, that is, um, you know, as we say in the biz, a working title. But um, what, we're, what we're imagining is possibly having a facility in South County, community TV and co-working, to serve that part of the, of the area. For them, it's a long ride in here. To, from, a, from Watsonville, it's 11 miles. Or no, it's like uh, 17 miles. And, um, and from Aptos, it's like almost nine miles. So it's a ways. And for Capitola, it's you know a few less, like seven miles. So the idea is to, to, to go down that way and see if we can serve more people easier, <coughs> make it easier for them. OK, what is going on? Is this the thing that makes it go? All right. Hmm. So or wait a minute, I think I know. Wait, OK. So uh, these are the kind of services we would provide there, class as classes. Equipment checkout, editing, and we'd have an RSVP studio. Okay, how about this? Would that work? All right. Um, oh, what's wrong here? So that should make it go. Okay, just a second. I need to get out of this. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Where the Windows expert? 
Can I get back in here? Is this a PowerPoint? I think Google Slides. Google Slides. I will note that, that our executive director is usually a Mac person. So, uh, Sorry, so major Mac. There's going a page outside of our comfort page zone. Down. That's probably the easiest yeah. way to get yeah, the, the arrow up, arrow down. Arrow, uh, oh, up and down. Yeah. Okay, so which way is, is down? Down's next. Forward? Should be, next. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Down is back. Aha! Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> these are the services. That we could, that we would provide. We we wouldn't probably build a big studio because if you're going to do something like this, you know, come here. But um, we'll have a RSVP studio, which um, for the viewing public, it's uh, a small one-person studio that you can run by yourself. So you can be on TV and record what you're doing and take it away on a flash drive. It's very cool. Um, we could also have educational partnerships there. Yes. There are a number of schools in South County that, mm -hmm. you know, those students probably don't have the time to come all the way up here for our help. And I think we could develop a better or more robust relationship probably with Cabrillo College as well. And um, then we'd also provide a co-working center just like we do here. And it would offer the same things we have here, private offices, cafe space, conference rooms, digital media. And so to make that work, um, uh, there are some benchmarks that we would need to meet to make that work. And um, Barbara Springer, who is our co-working guru, tells us that we need a population of at least 50,000 people. And as you can see, these are just the self-employed people in that area. Oh, There's wow. 23,000 of them. So, um, and now some, you know, some of those guys are not for us. Some of them are Uber drivers, but, mm -hmm. but, but there, are, there, there are a lot of service individuals there, like you know, therapists and attorneys and accountants and real estate agents and financial planners and all of those kind of people. We can dig, dig deep into it. This is just really quick um, look at the demographics we could get without um, visiting a professional. So this is what I can pull from online, yes? Is there anything significant underneath the, the smaller text? Yeah, yeah the is that the source? Oh, readable. I'm sorry. Is that the yes. source? The, I will read that to you. This, so Aptos, Capitola, Watsonville contain a bunch of little places. And those places are Freedom, Larkin Valley, oh, Interlock, okay. and Watsonville, right. the city of Watsonville. And Watsonville has another designation of CCD, city people. Yes. Does anyone know what that CCD is? Central, <laughs> okay. yeah, you know. And uh, Sea Cliff, Central Capitola, Fire Twin Fire. Lakes, Pleasure Point, Soquel, all those. Oh. They, I found uh, there are demographics for all those tiny places broken up. So okay. I included them all because they're all within that demographic area. Thank you. We call it your DMA. So, um, uh, what I thought you might be interested to know uh, if we did that, what we might make from it, the co working part. I think these are out of order, but anyway, we'll talk about this now. So, of course, in order to do that and maintain it, we would need some revenue stream, and so we'd include co working in our plan. And these are this is what these are direct, these are what we made. This is the net revenue we've made from this space um, in Santa Cruz. So, in the first year, we made 66,000 after we paid paid everything. All the, all the expenses are subtracted. And then uh, 84 the second year and the third year we made 92. So it's one of the things that we do, I mean it's easily the thing we make the most money at. And there, and we'd be investing some of our, our savings, um, capital savings, not our own earned money, but um, there is no financial instrument that I can find that would return this. So it's what I'm thinking. Um, something to think about, uh, down there, uh, here, we have two competitors within a mile, and there we would have none. And we also know more about what we're doing now. <laughs> so <laughs> like, that would take a little of the edge oh, off, yeah. I think. Um, now, uh, one of the things, uh, the things that we need to have in a good potential site would be coffee shops, restaurants, and drinks within walking distance. And, and so the place we've chosen uh, this is a potential site. This is one we like best so far, but you know we'll look at more. But right now, we found a, per a really nice space in the Rancho Del Mar Shopping Center, which has just been um, renovated and looks mm -hmm. fabulous. And they have spaces that are sizable for us and that they're unfinished, so we can make it how we want it. So, um, and in there, they have coffee and restaurants. And right across the street is 
uh, burger, and apparently they have 23 beers on tap. Oh boy. <laughs> so, I, can, I can verify. So, <laughs> 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 okay. Which is your favorite? No, we can't. I'm not just making this stuff up. So, um, here's the site. It's, um, I don't, if any of you shopped in Aptos before, it was, mm -hmm. a shop, uh, it was a place where you could buy ballet shoes and tap shoes and leg warmers. Mm -hmm. And then over in this side, they had really interesting clothing. So, they, they were, that's the old Aptos shoe. Yeah. 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 And this is the whole space or a parcel? The whole space, I'll show you. It's it's about 4,800 square feet, I think, and, and yeah. I'll get to that. This is the inside now. Mm -hmm. And I took these pictures through the window, so they're not fabulous pictures, but they wouldn't let me in. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that. And, and here, you can, see, you can see these little spots right here. Those are doors to the back, and there's parking in the back. And um, we could have that parking. There's about we can't see spaces. on the screen what you're doing on that screen. Oh yeah, all, okay. the pointer. all we can see yeah. is the. All right. But there are two doors. There. Oh, you don't even see the screen. But don't there are the two pointer. doors back there's, there. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. The gray, right. They're the they're the things that don't look the, the same. Set into the Some wood. of these things are not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, oh, so my question to you is, who wants to join us on this adventure of exploring whether or not we should open a place in South County? Well, let, let me say a few words before we jump into that. Uh, Becca brought this up to us at our meeting, last meeting and the meeting before. And you mean we, the finance, the finance committee. committee. The finance yeah. committee, excuse me. And uh, we thought it was a, a good a good idea to explore, but we thought it's way beyond the scope of what we're supposed to do in that committee. And it should be something given to the whole board to look mm -hmm. at and to decide uh, what they what they think about it, how they want to proceed, and what to do next. So it didn't kind of just come out of the blue. It kind of came through a, a slow process of us kind of trying to look at uh, pros and cons, and so we're at this point now. And I don't know, Tom, do you want to mention anything further? I think that's the most important thing. What we thought, and that's what the um, um, recommendation for this item is, is that it would make sense for um, some subcomponent of the board to form up as an ad hoc committee to explore it more in depth. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we are. Huh. And did we have our first two volunteers? Uh, well, I actually have an idea for a chair. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my thought was, that, you know, we our committee's talked about it, so it would be good for some other person also right. to come on, and it's it's up to you. And it, there's no guarantee this will go anywhere or not go anywhere. And there's a lot of work, and there'll be probably a fair amount of meetings initially, and then it'll probably taper off, and the committee will disappear. Uh, my thought was, in terms of this. And I haven't even talked to Keith about this, so this is the first time this will be aired. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but Keith was involved with, I believe, Matilda, and you were in the group that kind of started the brainstorm how this facility developed, and they really have a fair amount of background in it. So I think whoever wants to become part of this, my suggestion would be that Keith kind of take the lead with you because he's already been through this once. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and that's about as far as I've gotten in terms of thinking about it, other than Tom and I and Keith and the Finance Committee and Matreas thought it, it was interesting enough for the whole board to become involved mm -hmm. and think about it. And then in terms of Brown Act, it has to be less than a quorum of the board, is that correct? Right. Okay. okay. So at that, this point, it's five, so it could be four, up to four, up to four members. A quorum is, <coughs> yeah. So, do we have any volunteers? I'm oh, interested. Oh. Okay, we have one, two, uh, one, two, three. And then maybe one of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom, there was four, right? No. It was Janice one, and Elizabeth two, and Matria. Uh, no, no. If you Tom need somebody, I can just oh, Did you want to be on this back. committee also? Tom, 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 Tom will take my space. Oh, okay. okay. There's plenty of that. Okay. Right. So, for the record, that's uh, Director O'Driscoll, um, Director Spenson, and Director Gudger, and Director Meheim. Yeah. Uh, with Director Gudger being the chair. Well, that's up to the committee to decide. That's just my recommendation. Right, right. Okay, it might be up to Keith. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has no say. <laughs> um, so, uh, any further discussion? I mean, in terms of the... Is well, I also weird? like it that it's two guys and two gals. Uh -huh. you know, there we go. We don't, we don't want to do it to Keith that he has to sit there with three women, you know. So. I didn't even think of that. I was just seeing who was yeah. interested in bending me energy. I'm just joking. Oh, but I'm glad Tom is on there because he also has a lot of experience. I, mean, Tom oh, is I a love lot. it if he was going to. Yeah, Tom's been through this process before. Yeah. Elizabeth probably knows a little more about that area than I do. 
And, uh, and she was jumping up and down when you talk education. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be on it. She's going to be on it. Yeah. Great. Um, so do we have a motion? Um, I make a motion. To form an ad hoc committee uh, with consisting Keith, of the... With, with Director Gudger, with Director Mannheim, with Director Swenson, and Director O'Driscoll. Second. All right, you have a motion and a second. Any further discussions on this, uh, on this particular item? Um, the merits of, of well, I mean, I did actually, I mean, I had a question, question regarding the, the presentation. The presentation, of course. Yeah. Yes, maybe um, I was jumping ahead. But first we have a motion. And a second. Well, that's okay, I'll withdraw it and he, well, can, no. he can go ahead and ask the question. We can make it uh, My only question was, do we have numbers of how many people from that area are actually coming here now? No, but we could okay. get them. We I think know that would be important for, for the subcommittee to know to right, see, right. you know, if, if we're going to be the burning our own yes, guys. Yes, exactly. I, I kind of think no. Okay. I think we mostly get people from the east side, but okay. I can check. Yeah, yeah we don't want to cannibalize our place. Yes. But, no. yes. but there, there's not competition. So there's so many. I mean, if there, I think people would. There's lots of people who I think don't come here because it's too far away that just don't have a place to go. When we went there to look at it, someone outside was very excited to learn that it might be a co-working space, which is, I don't know who she was, or maybe she was a plant. But, uh, <laughs> Great. Well, if there are no further questions or discussion, comments, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. That motion carries unanimously. Thank so we will continue if to I want to end, end, end the one comment, this is really a much more refreshing process to enter into because when Keith and the others were working on this first studio, it was a matter of survival. Right. This is a matter of the future, which is really much more positive. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, it's it's exciting. exciting. Yeah, it's location. When you were looking at your numbers, the largest number were in the that Aptox area, um, and it's sort of centrally located without having to come up all the way to Santa yeah. Cruz. So it's all all below 41st Avenue. We're, right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, no one. That seems to be the line people don't want to cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's also yep. the how long are you going to sit in traffic exactly. line? Well, <laughs> exactly. that's what I was yeah. thinking. I yeah. live in Live Oak, and I was thinking there's a lot yeah. of people. Who would really like a go back Have a reverse commute, yeah. We have, yeah, it's the reverse commute for Live Oak. It's a little farther, we're closer to Live Oak than Aptos is. It's 2.8 miles and it's 5 miles. But without any traffic, okay. it would be a better right. choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Depends on which coffee they like and which burger they like. That's true. And, uh, <laughs> like, and in her case, that <laughs> <laughs> beer. Are we going to apply for a liquor? So we won't apply for a liquor license. No. Yeah, we won't need no, we to. want some more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you some just, guardians to walk people to back and forth. You just have to figure out how to cross the street, basically. <laughs> that could be the dicey part. All right. Well, if there's nothing further on that item, uh, we look forward to hearing um, reports from the ad hoc committee as, as that those explorations um, um, proceed. Uh, so we can move on to a somewhat less exciting item. Item number nine is to approve uh, mid-year budget adjustments. And um, our finance committee uh, chair, Director Hall, was kind enough to um, prepare a staff report for that item. Uh, would you care to? Sure, I'll run over it pretty quickly. There are really two separate items here. The first one is the budget adjustments that are necessary to have a full-time executive director. And actually, at your December 2nd meeting, you approved it, but in talking among ourselves in the Finance Committee, we thought that the action wasn't specific enough. It didn't show where the revenue came from, what's changing, mm -hmm. and to kind of bring a little more details to what was done, we thought it was appropriate for the board to approve a budget adjustment which laid out what, where the money was coming from, what was projected, and so that's the first one. So technically, you approved it. But the approval was, I think, almost too general for, you know, more in concept. Concept and and, and then reality is the wrong word. But this is a, a, a more procedurally correct way. Uh, the second budget adjustment uh, reflects some changes and in, uh, increased needs for software in the uh, operation of CTV. And I asked Becca to explain a little bit of this so you get some background other than me just repeating what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, as you know, we don't have really staff members, so what we've done is we've found ways for software to do the work of people, or, or to make the, the, the work of the people we have more efficient. So we use a lot of software platforms, so software as a service is what that stands for, SWAS. And so one of the things, we do things on, on uh, 
we do payroll online and we do all our accounting online and we even do our timesheets now online so everybody has a timesheet on their phone and they can check in when they're at work it's mostly for the government technicians they're all over the county and so we don't see them very often so they check in from their phones and victor can see if they're at work which is really handy mm -hmm. <laughs> just in case and um, so we'd have things like that we also have a lot of adobe licenses because we people edit here and do photoshop here and that sort of thing and we have like six laptops with licenses Victor has a license, there's a license in the edit suite, and so those, those are really expensive, but they're well worth it. And we do a lot of marketing online, so we make all of our flyers and posters and everything like that, and then we distribute them through social media, and we have some social media tools that we pay for, and um, it all adds up, but it's less expensive than staff, so. Well, we also, it when the initial projection was made for this budget, it just underestimated how much it was yeah, going to cost. Yeah, we didn't, well, the Adobe licenses went up, and we didn't, we didn't know that would happen. And so that was a kind of a, we were short-sighted, so next so, time we'll figure that'll happen, yeah, we'll add that in. Budget doesn't change, it's just reallocating some of the funding from different categories to pay for this. So that's the second budget adjustment. And I also want to thank uh, Mel Sweet, who does the accounting for CTV for getting all this ready so fast because we had a meeting that day the report was written and it was sent to you so we could just take care of this issue we've talked about it a couple of meetings and finally we said we need to do something it's mid-year that's when you normally do these adjustments so that's the second budget adjustment and that's really about it there's really not a lot more i could add so i won't you know take your time with it but uh, the recommendation is to prove both of them and so i'm ready for any questions or if somebody wants to do a motion uh, under 7,065 equipment repair and acquisition, you say uh, 5,047 reallocate from operating, but I don't find it in operating, I think. It's 7,065. 7,065, and yeah. where, where, how, because the other two I can, you know, yeah. 7,063 go to 7,530 and all that, but so where does that... They're relocated from the operating budget, so their numbers in the operating budget are not the same. This is where no, they No, no, I, I, I understand that. But I can, this number goes with that number, that goes with that number. I don't see reallocate 20% to to capital for that uh, final line. I don't see it. So that's just my question. Are you asking me where the money is going or where it came from? Where, yeah, where, where it, it came, came from. from. It comes from, oh, oh, I think it... I'm pretty sure it came from 7056. Oh, the equipment depreciation. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. I see, yeah, so that's broken up. Yeah, if you break it up, yeah, if you do the math so there. 134,916 minus 114,869 is going to add up to all those. those three. It's just above there. Um, I'll go back to the next page. Yeah. Equipment depreciation, right there. Oh, it comes from the equipment depreciation. Yeah. Oh. So, it, so it's actually it's not really coming out of operating. No, it's no. coming out of capital. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Reallocate from capital. Yeah. And okay, software good. services is in the capital budget. It's not the operating budget. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that was just a copy, copy and paste uh, thing. Yeah. I just want to make sure. No, no, no that's question. why we have it here. Because we like clarity and transparency, and thank you because it's very clear otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have no other questions. Okay, any further questions or comments? Do we have a motion yet? I don't think we have a motion. I'll move. All right, we have a motion from Director second. Manheim. And second from Director Hall. Any further comments, questions? If not, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That carries unanimously. And thank you for catching that. Yeah, I mean. All clear. All right, so now we can move on to item number 10, which is the oral report of our executive director. Are you going to do it from paper today? Yeah, because I can't have two computers. That would be, really, that'd be excessive. That would be over the top. So um, I have, uh, so this is the report for January. And so for in co-working, our, as um, I explained to you last time, our break-even number is 10000 And in January, we earned 13000 $15. And uh, when I wrote this, um, on the 19th, we were at 12,900 for February. We actually have exceeded that now. Yeah. So this is good. And I just want to let you know, um, the way I get these numbers is from the, what we actually have taken in, what people have handed us. 
Some of it's still in the till. So it isn't in the bank. So if you look at the official numbers, you may see that it didn't jibe exactly right. And, uh, thank you. You're I welcome. I appreciate that. <laughs> this has actually been a, a little discussion that Beck and I have had because we, when we do our financials, we have a set number there. And so I was confused when I saw sort of that number and then heard her talking about a different number. And so she has more up-to-date numbers. But yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, Mel doesn't, Mel has a, Mel doesn't want to attribute it to us till she sees it post in the bank. So if we get $5,000 on Friday, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and Mel's like, ah, not so fast. <laughs> Let's see if it posts. So she waits till it gets in the bank. But these are the numbers. And they, they, I know because this is January that we're talking about that they went into the bank. So, so no, no fake the, the deposit. No, fake yeah. deposit. <laughs> no one's writing a secret check. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to deposit this, really. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of so, a lagging figure in a way. I mean, there'd still it's be time. accounts receivable yeah. but until they come in. Yeah. Right. Well, they're received. Right. We actually have accounts them, but receive, it yeah. takes a while. for. So what happens is people, we get all the money on credit cards mostly, mm -hmm. and then it takes a right. day or two for their bank to process it, for it to get into our bank. And so even though we've collected the money from them, it hasn't gotten into our bank account. So but it's, it's, it's in when between. It's in the account that you're counting. Yeah. Right. When it's, it's in out the here. account is when the financials that the financial committee looks at every year, that's what yeah. that reflects. So I like to track what we actually <clears throat> bring in each month because that helps me mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. than knowing right. exactly when things post. Sure, mm -hmm. that's post. Um, OK, so paid services. Um, we did 15 government meetings in January, and we also did a SCCAO wrestling championship. And on Friday, we're going to do the Calciano lecture. So mm -hmm. it always nice. picks up and pick up the pace at the end of the year mm -hmm. for the projects. We usually do about six projects a year. And then you'll see that in the budget around six or $8,000, depending on what happened the year before. And so um, for the first part of the year, nothing happens, and everybody gets nervous. But it all happens at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So here it comes. Mm -hmm. And we're doing another special meeting for Capitola, I think, on Friday as well. Good. That's yeah. Gonna yeah, ask yeah. Ask yeah, we were that. able to pull that together. Good. We were out of guys, but we Good. got a guy from CMAP. <laughs> um, so under equipment and facilities, uh, the new signs have been approved. We're waiting for approval on the paint cover. And um, so uh, since last time I had shown you the old logo, I'm showing you the new logo. This time that's Satellite's new logo on the picture, and that's the side of the building. And last time I think I showed you the front, but I just thought you might like to see one more of you. And uh, in, uh, in response to a suggestion from the board, we have a new equipment procedure. We now have one of our uh, government technicians coming in once a week to look at all the gear that's been checked out the previous week make sure that it's all there. Of course, when it's checked in, Ian makes sure it's all there, but then he goes through and makes sure it all works, that the batteries are charged, and that things and things aren't worn or torn or need repair. And if something does need repair, we have a system where that, that Keith built where you can report it, and then Keith fixes it. So it works great. <laughs> and, um, and, um, so um, he did, he reported some things that were broken. Keith saw the report, he fixed them, they're back in the system. And so it's, it's really great. And when things come in, um, we added a new category. So they're sort of like in limbo. We've got them, but we're not running them out yet until we check them out. So that's, work, that's working really well. And we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll keep reporting on, on if we expand it or do anything more with it, but that, uh, that was the something that came up at the board retreat, and so now we're doing that. Um, communications, publicity and events we did first Friday in January, and we also have been doing Bagel Mondays and Waffle Wednesdays. <laughs> and um, so we have a fun, like, vertical waffle maker. People can pour waffle stuff in, and a waffle comes out the side. Oh, oh. I know, people really like it. <laughs> and then I have some, I've under marketing, I have some Google Insights there for you that are kind of fun. We have a, um, we're trying to, we're looking at pieces of our marketing and try to, try to make them a little more robust or investigate, you know, what, how much can we do for free? And this is our Google uh, business page, which we actually have a whole page. And when people Google us, it pops up on the side of Google and it's about this big and has a picture of us and says all the important things. And uh, you can click there and go to our website or click to a page that Google built for us, which actually looks pretty nice. And you can see what we did was um, in January, we started to do things. We got some information on what we could do to make our page more apparent or more visible to more people. And one thing we found was pictures. So as you can see, we have lots of pictures. So, um, and the public can put pictures too, but 
they're not all great photographers. Mm -hmm. So um, we thought we would load it up with really good shots. And so you can see that huge spike there is when um, uh, we added a whole bunch of pictures. And then, and then we're, we're gaining traction with that. And we can see that here's a really nice little circly thing there that's just about 50-50, but most people are searching us because they know our name, which is nice. Most of the searches are people know your name, and about 50% are people just looking for co-working. So that's kind of a good thing. I think we're, we're coming up a lot for that. And then we know that people see us, um, and this is because of the little box that pops up, mostly on maps. So when people search, they see the maps, they're really looking for directions to come here, which oh, is really great. a good thing. They're trying great. to find their way to our place, which is great. So, so just out um, of curiosity, is yeah. this, are these search by name for satellite and or community television? And or co-working as well. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. it can be our formal name or co-working. Okay. And the, um, we get 11,000 views on Google a quarter. That's not huge, mm. but it's not terrible. <laughs> so we'll work to build that up. But these are just like baseline metrics for you to see where we are now. Mm -hmm. And then we can tell you next mm -hmm. quarter where we got to. So you'll mm -hmm. have something to compare it to. And 179 customers took action, and that could be a phone call or get directions or any one of those things. Actions or can be anything, How but most of our they, actions were people coming to our website. What was that? How would they know if somebody came here? They got directions. Oh, so they get directions. Yeah, they get directions. We assume that they have those, they're coming. Maybe not. Maybe they're exactly. just like direction collectors. <laughs> but um, so <laughs> someday I might want to go there. I should download this. <laughs> so um, <laughs> now we, uh, always be prepared. These are the Boy Scouts of our community. So um, for outreach, um, there, I didn't do a ton of outreach this month, but I did go meet the city clerk, or the new uh, assistant city manager and the administrative clerk mm -hmm. of Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. And that's our report for January. Okay. I have sort of a follow-up, because I had a similar question that Larry asked. So really, the, most of the searches have to do with the co-working aspect of the operation, not people looking for a studio or to borrow or rent equipment, that kind of thing. Well, that is the, that's what I showed you this time. We have a different page. We have a website that's different for the for the community TV. Oh, okay. So it does different stuff. Gotcha. But okay. this so one, I was just showing you the co-working. It was because I'm revenue focused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it makes sense. But, <laughs> but it's true. That. Mission is important, too. So I can bring you those numbers as well. Good point. That would be nice to see. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well. But that's great. I mean, that's good news. Thanks. Very good. All right, any further questions? All right. Well, thank you very much for that report. Um, things are looking good. Uh, we can move on to item number 11 now, which is the oral report from the Volunteer Advisory Committee Chair. Uh, Director Dodger, do you have anything? Yes. I actually have a report from Linda Janakis, who's directing this program. She set up a public access producer-director shop talk meeting. It was last Sunday. Um, they went over the strategic plan that this board had put together and they looked at how it affected producers and directors. There were about a dozen people present. They had some really interesting um, feedback and ideas. Let's see what all she says here. Uh, they're looking at audio, they're looking at the organizing high school and college involvement. Um, they're looking at trying to get leaflets and, and posters out to libraries, the 10 branches, which of course not all open right now, but those that are open so that people who come to the library can find out more information about community television and producing uh, programs here. Um, David Goldman, who's doing audio tonight, is going to have a, continue to have what they call open TriCaster night. There's one coming up this Wednesday and people sign up to come in and and learn more about the switching equipment that we use, or practice, or anything. And we're looking, they're looking at a, a mini film festival mm -hmm. for people to present, uh, give us audio, a video, and we'll review uh -huh. them and pick winners and so on. Mm -hmm. That's just the very beginning. CTV has done it before, mm -hmm. but, uh, and it's a lot of work. I think what we need to do is to try and focus it on what people are likely to be creating and wanting to submit, mm -hmm. as opposed to the, the video film festivals that I've been involved with in Santa Cruz before. Have been. This is the theme 
you could Go form. create it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, one of them I was in, there were two of us, you know. <laughs> That's not exactly. <laughs> two creators. <laughs> yeah. uh, well. That was not huge. And, and CTV has said it before, it had, a, you know, 10 to a dozen entrants. But I think we need to look at what are, what are young people specifically creating? And what kind of content? And see if we can aim a festival at that to try and get young people more involved in what we're doing here. And another thing that came up was a suggestion that we move our orientations to First Friday. We already have a First Friday going on, we already have people coming in. Why don't we uh, just have an orientation on at least one First Friday a quarter? And I don't know when we'll do it this quarter, because Matilda and I just had an orientation last Thursday. And we have changed the orientation, and this was discussed in the meeting, to where we try and meet the people who come where they are. Uh, Matilda is very good at talking to people, saying, what is it you want out of community television? We both what, why are you here? What are you thinking you want to do at community television? And we more or less have three things we discuss in orientation. We discuss how you can use the studio, how you can get trained and figure out how to do a program in the studio, how you can use field camera equipment that we have, how you can get out in the field and produce uh, a video for CTV. And the third one is now the RSVP, how you can do it yourself. So those are the areas that we address, and they would all be appropriate to discuss on the first Friday. So we don't have a plan for which first Friday. It's not going to be the one in March. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm looking at, we just had someone else ask us, when's the orientation? And I had to say, well, you just missed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe April, April, which would be the first quarter, first first Friday and the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they also suggested maybe we try and do something at first Friday that brings in the current producers. But I don't think we've moved forward on that. We're mostly looking at, can we also hold an orientation at the same time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think by discussing our orientation and um, something, whatever else. Shop talk meeting? The shop talk meeting. I think we've covered everything that we've done volunteer-wise yeah. since the last board meeting, right? Thank you. Um, I, I was curious, so the, the, the little mini film festival, would that be geared more towards residents of Santa Cruz County? I mean, if there's a Santa Cruz Film Festival, right? But that's, anybody can submit to that, right? Uh, so this would be uh, local. local. Is that the idea? Yes. And um, I mean, a film festival curates it more because mm. they want films that people want to see. Mm. Whereas I'd like us to be a little more inclusive mm -hmm. and that we probably end up with a playlist with anything that's submitted is in the playlist. Mm -hmm. Just the way our channel 27 is anything that's submitted is mm -hmm. played on the channel. Right that this, this uh, film festival will also be that inclusive idea of what we do already. Wonderful. No, I look forward to, uh, to hearing more about that. Yeah, maybe you could submit something. I, I, okay. Or your kids. I'll have to dig to that. Uh, yeah, my, my daughter was uh, raving about how many views she got on one of her TikTok videos last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I want to get a big head, but... Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't know if there's like, yeah, maybe there can be a category for, yeah, uh, you know, 15 second, uh, I think video. <laughs> under 30 second videos. Yes. Our um, new attention span. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, great, wonderful, thank you very much. Um, so I guess uh, we can move on to item number 12, uh, oral report of the board chair. Um, I actually do have something to report this month. Um, I'm aware of, um, through uh, various activities, I'm aware of two local nonprofits uh, that serve the youth that are um, still actively fundraising for equipment that they need to purchase by the summer um, due to FCC regulations. So um, so I reached out to them and uh, they both seem interested and I've um, said for further information, please talk to our executive director. And so uh, Becca followed up with uh, at least one of them and we'll see um, where that goes. Hopefully that will work out. For one of our grants? Uh, no, not for youth grant. This would be for the equipment lease program. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're they're looking to purchase equipment that's expensive, and um, yeah. and um, hopefully they could provide some programming. One of them at least does original material, and the other one I'm sure could come up with something. So, so I talked to that the young 
Little People's Theater? Uh, LPRT. Okay. And what was the other one? Uh, all hear? About Theater. The which one? Uh, all About Theater. Okay, I guess I did. Lindsay Chester. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I responded to both of those. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. I thought I missed one. So, um, yeah. So, we'll see. Hopefully something will come out of that. And I will continue to keep my ears open for other opportunities. Um, yes? Uh, I don't know if I should do it in announcements or go back to... Uh, something earlier, but you reminded me of something along those lines okay. that I should just at least briefly mention. Of course. Is that I have been working with the Friends of the Library, especially specifically the Capitola branch, to introduce a program where we try and bring youth into writing through animation. Mm -hmm. And I've talked to Becca about would it be possible to get a hardware grant that would cover that, and she has put together a first pass at a package to include on the youth grant website oh, wonderful. for animation. And the news, the most recent news is that the library IT department has approved that it's okay for us to purchase this equipment, and the library would, you know, curate the equipment. That's so cool. we're moving along. The, the, that particular branch of the library won't be open until the fall. I'm, I'm looking at Larry. <laughs> and. So we have time to complete that. Um, there's a curriculum that's been developed with some educators. There's equipment list that Becca is working on right now. And the next step is to actually apply for the grant and then the CTV grant equipment the committee would have to build on that. That's great news, yeah. I mean, that's one of the thoughts that I had had is that um, we, we've had some good success with the equipment grant program, but then um, past that initial success, we've had a hard time finding people uh, that, that fit with our particular um, idea. So maybe it was time to expand the uh, concept. So I'm glad to see that that's yeah. happening. The um, barrier to entry is really low for this animation project, because mm. all you have to know is how to use a laptop. You don't mm. have to know how to shoot cameras, right. or how to work, or how to, use, how to edit, or mm. anything. That mm. all, Everything is in the software, and they mm -hmm. figure I mean, they have to learn the software. Right. But they don't have to move around. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to be able to get anywhere else. They can just do it all at the They don't have to have a crew or yeah, actors? Yeah, they don't need a crew or <laughs> actors or any talent or you know, none of that. <laughs> well, hopefully they have <laughs> <laughs> well, in television, talent is people. Oh, yeah. 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 They need yeah. inspiration. They need inspiration. They need inspiration. They need Great. Uh, of course, it helps to have. Um, well, no, it used to be when they'd hand you that you'd see all the, the names of the Korean artists who did all the tweening. Uh, and now, I guess they, it's all just render farms. But uh, um, Great. Well, that's yeah. great. It any, interpolates now. Right, right. Um, any further comments, questions? All right. Seeing that, we can move on to uh, board member staff request. This is item 13 for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. I would Director just, Manhattan? the whole discussion we just had reminded me of the fact that we are now coming up on another period where we would hope people are people applying would, for youth grants. Yeah. I wonder if at the next meeting, if there's, if we might just have a little presentation about that or something sure. that, that just sort of helps to start getting the word out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's another youth organization here in town that's just started up in the last few months that I've been discussing the, the equipment grant program. Mm -hmm. I think they're a little unclear on what's, what kind of equipment CTV might have that could help them. So right. it'll take a little while to work with them on that. Right? Okay. And I wanted to follow up with one of our, somebody who had previously expressed interest, but then I don't think ever submitted a a, yeah, a proposal. A lot. So um, I, I got one of those too. My daughter goes to one of the schools, right? So um, I was. Yeah. Sometimes people even came to our workshop. Well, yeah. not very many, right. but some came, and some we would have given grants to, yeah. but they didn't apply. Right. right. So yeah, I wanted to follow up and just see <coughs> what, what, why they didn't apply. You know? Yeah. And if there's anything we could do to accommodate. We were, we were nice enough. Yeah. <laughs> we did our best. Staffing <laughs> is often an issue. Yeah. Right. I know. Right. In the home institution. And also, yeah. you know, where to place the equipment safely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have to have a teacher in a curriculum. Yeah. So our grant yeah. is hard. You have to, but the, the one person qualified for sure, but then it's oh, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe it's outside the scope, but is the, the, the first grantee, is theirs coming out this year or next year? This year. We're, this we're year. waiting for the final grant report from our first grantee now. And then, um, we don't have it yet, but I've sent it out to them. I sent the report form. And, they, and we assume they, they'll want to 
renew probably. I'm thinking we might extend the current one. Oh, okay. Because uh, if they like that equipment and they're yeah. using it, we should we can extend. As long as they're in good standing, we right. need to go and look at the equipment and make sure it's all there and all good. And um, then we could extend okay. it if we want. But that's something we could do at the committee mm -hmm. level. All right. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Um, Okay, so no specific items uh, oh, but, but beyond the uh, report on the youth grant, which is... Yeah, just uh, something to, to talk a little yeah. bit about it so people are aware of them. Mm -hmm. to Elizabeth about One thing is it's, it's yeah. going to unfold so fast, we might want to just put on a, a standing report from the facilities committee. So the, they... The ad hoc committee. The, the, the ad hoc committee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Because they could move relatively fast. We should if we want that particular space. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so we have those two right. items. Um, if there are nothing further, we can move on to announcements. Do any board members have any announcements that they can make? Yes? I do have one. I hope it's appropriate. The um, City of Capitola Art and Cultural Commission is going to be hosting its first Teen <laughs> Battle of the Bands. Oh. Oh. March 21st oh. at 5 o'clock at New Brighton Middle School. So wow. there's going to be at least eight bands there. Oh, wow. So like all, like all uh, band submissions, they all came in on the last two days. <laughs> so we were a little worried there for a a bit, but how many bands? Eight. Um, eight. There's going to be at least eight. at least eight. Yes. I, is so. anybody going to videotape it and put it on? Uh -huh. Well, so um, that There's would be a question. I was thinking about if we can get in contact with maybe one of the grantees, possibly, or something. Uh, I we don't can't know. make the. We can't. Make them do that. Make them do things. Oh, no. No, I was going to ask. Oh, I was going to ask. You can yeah. just let them know that yeah. it's happening. But, but we, can, we can talk about it. Like I said, a lot of it was waiting on whether or not we had enough to, to move forward with it, and so they are now. So well, it's March, March 21st. The winners on one of the shows, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah there was, right. It wasn't until the show, isn't it? But okay. Were you we, the we one can, that said yes? No? Well, we can we figure can talk that out. Just time. <laughs> 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 I thought it was you. <laughs> no, I think that's a wonderful announcement. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, uh, I might have to go attend with my uh, my daughter. Awesome. Give her a little inspiration. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. Um, uh, if there are no further announcements, uh, well, we do want to tell people to get out to vote, right? Yeah, we can't make we can't endorse anybody, but no, um, no, 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 vote. Oh yeah, we have vote ads all over the you know, vote PSAs and where to vote and how to get a ballot and all of that stuff running right now. I think Keith and Matilda have also been interviewing a lot of the candidates. Uh, oh, right. No, we haven't been interviewing. Not them. interviewing. They had they had an opportunity to yeah. come and talk for two minutes, yeah. and all the people that came got our fullest attention, and mm. they have now uh, YouTube videos that they can. You know, put links to, mm -hmm. you know, and to uh, put on their own right. website. And we have one long show at yep. Bayer's so that you can watch everybody. Oh, really? It's airing quite a bit. Right? Yeah, Actually, right. I saw it. Yep. Good. You did see it? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. pretty good. I, you know, I, nothing, it, I, we should probably finish up, but what really impresses me is how much higher quality what we do now is. Mm -hmm. than, I kind of remember CTV looking there and kind of cleaning my glass. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff. Now I don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's really quite clear. This is good. Progress. Um, great. So um, I, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our all-volunteer crew um, today. That consists of Linda Janakis, David Goldman, Karen Scott, Frank Turner, Nick Kirkendall, and Richard Dussault. Thank you all very much for, for being here today. Um, I think that's it for announcement. I'll make a movement to adjourn. We have a motion for adjournment, adjourn. and we have a second. second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We are adjourned. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Oh,